Good morning from Texas somewhere. I'm feeling better. Thanks to uh, Claire. I'm not feeling better thanks to Jax. <laughs> so Claire was nice enough to come to Austin, Texas and take care of me and in the process she ended up getting sick. Sorry about that. What I, what I get for helping people out. But I want to let you know she is being medicated. I ordered her some uh, high quality bird azithromycin. You grown any feathers yet? Not that I know of. Just wait. Um, <laughs> by the way, because her healthcare sucks, drugs are super expensive, and this is a little workaround way to get uh, prescription drugs. Not that I'm telling you to do it, but in case your bird gets ill, you can treat it, but not yourself. Because then you have to go to the doctor and pay a bunch of money. Uh, by the way, I covered up the lights that was in a previous video uh, up top here. Um, thank you to Alice again for hosting us out in Austin. Let me get better. <laughs> I'm heading back west right now. We're in uh, Texas. We're in um, Abilene. We're going to go check out some stuff further to the west, south, and then drop her off in a week, uh, a couple days after Christmas or so. The reason for that is I, because I was sick and because there was a conflict of uh, my schedule um, to help someone. I'm basically going to teach someone how to make YouTube videos out in Kentucky. Uh, you'll meet her if, um, if that actually happens, but that's set for February 1st. It looks like I'm going to head west to the RTR and the Schoolie Palooza. Schoolie Palooza is on the 5th. Just look it up if you want to come hang out. Otherwise, I'll be over at the uh, Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, hanging out with a bunch of people. Um, one of the reasons I want to head over there was I've met so many amazing, incredible people in the van life, bus life, RV life, um, and I just want to spend time with them and hang out and get to know more people, and I know there's going to be a ton of people coming. Um, also, uh, my buddy Brock, Bus Life Adventure, I'll be making a few videos, interview videos of school buses out there. If you do have a school bus, hit me up. I will interview you for his channel. We are going to do a little trade. He is a web developer, um, so he's going to do what he is good at. I'm going to do what I'm good at, and we're going to trade. So finally, hopefully, we'll have a functioning website. Right now, if you go on my website, it's a bunch of dummy content. And if you subscribe for the mailing list, it doesn't actually subscribe you for the mailing list. So that's been bugging me for a while. So it's good that I can trade because, obviously, I'm on a budget here. I think that's about it. Um, yeah. The bus is running great. I got a fresh oil change in here, and it is now time to hit the road. We're going to go, I don't know, drive a little bit less than the last week we were together, but we'll go check out some quirky stuff on the way and head towards Marfa. Oh, almost forgot one more thing. If you guys came from the Jurgis channel, you already know who they are. If not, um, they are like the cutest couple ever, first of all, um, and they hide treasures, and they've asked me to hide a treasure. So if you guys have any ideas where I should be hiding this treasure uh, on my travels, comment below, or if you have any unique ideas for that. Um, but that is something I will be doing probably in the next month or so, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Okay, now it's time to hit the road. Today's place of interest, it is the uh, recreation of Stonehenge. This is in Odessa, Texas, um, and uh, from Roadside America, it was saying it is 70% uh, life size scale. And this is on the uh, University of Texas Permian Basin. Permian Basin, thank you, Claire. Sweet Claire, you're so smart. Um, yeah, it's like this big old college thing over here, and for some reason, they just have a recreation of the Stonehenge, so let's take a little walk around here. This is only 70%, I think the real one's big, like huge. 
Yeah, it means it's 30% bigger. Uh, <laughs> that's like super tall. Really cool. I know. <laughs> We're not friends. <laughs> so, so, my only question is that if you're gonna go for 70% and not 100%, why stop at 70%? I mean, it is pretty cool that it is here, but uh, you know, it's a little strange that, you know, it's like 70% is almost 100%. You know, like, you're almost there. Like, why not go you for it? You have room to do 100%. Exactly. It's a big, big lot. Yeah, and you can see where these stones here were uh, quarried and drilled. Those are, that's definitely not on the original ones. And I can tell you that without even going there. That's just kind of common sense. But it sure is interesting. It is not the only Stonehenge that I've come across driving across the country. Um, I believe there were, there was one more, shoot, I forget where that was. There's one in, uh, over by the Columbia River on the Washington side, um, across from Oregon. And then there was another one I passed by someplace. I'm not really sure what kind of cult following the Stonehenge has, but I do know it is a pretty interesting place. Even a replica is pretty cool. What do you think, Claire? <laughs> All right. So that took all of uh, a couple minutes. Oh, by the way, this is Claire's favorite tree. What kind of tree is this? Mesquite tree. Why is it your favorite? <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, That's these crazy. things have... That's like my finger. Yeah, these are giant, giant thorns. Um, Huge thorns. Possible to kill. <laughs> they Although it does taste good with barbecue, though. I suppose. Let's get barbecue. <laughs> we should definitely get some barbecue soon. No. I'm missing out. I haven't had bar. I've been no. sick for a week. I haven't had barbecue in a long time. <laughs> Texas picnic area. I'm starting to like these places, although it is a little on the noisy side. Uh, aside, aside from the wind, I'll try and hide the camera from the wind. Um, yeah, tonight's gonna be a little noisy. Um, what do you guys think about the uh, the light covers up there? Eh? I feel like it kind of uh, takes away from the uh, school bus charm, but also makes it a little bit, I don't know, more legal. Inside, we're just hanging out. How was your day today, Claire Bear? It was good. It was good? Breathe, though. Oh yeah, still sick. We'll give you some more medicine. Over here we got uh, the Jack Special, which is uh, a couple cans of lentils inside with uh, frozen veggies. Threw a little rice in there. Some uh, slap your mama sauce. Stuff's all right, a little on the salty side. Um, what do you say we do a time lapse? And also, Claire said we might see some deer tonight. So I'm hoping that we uh, spot some deers over here. Here is the close-up of a very, very simple bus life meal. Like I said, uh, lentils, frozen veggies, rice, and a little bit of that jambalaya or uh, uh, seasoning, Louisiana seasoning. Uh, Claire Bear, how do you like it? I haven't tried it yet. Yep. Well, give everybody uh, an insight into uh, Jack's uh, <laughs> bus life cooking. What do you think? Not bad for like three bucks each for dinner, huh? Yep. 